Good evening. Welcome to the Firescape Coffee House and Youth Ministry here in Chinook, Kansas. Firescape was started approximately 23 years ago for high school and college age students for an alternative place to hang out. It's continued to grow. From that time, we have had a concert venue where we've had high marks, especially the state of Kansas, we're one of the top 10 concert venues in the state. We also have KFEX 93.1 radio station, which we broadcast in approximately 60 foreign countries. And the most important thing, we have what goes on on the Friday and Saturday nights with the high school and college age students here in the coffee house. I want to say that we really appreciate doing this because we have been almost completely shut down for a year in concerts because of the COVID situation. It's changed everybody's life. And we wanted to start back doing something very special. Our guest artist tonight is Mr. Stephen Watts. Stephen uh, is a friend of my older brother, my younger brother, and I've actually got to have him come here a couple other occasions to play, and he's been such a blessing. He contacted me stating he wanted to do something for the Firescape and do a benefit concert. So tonight, he's, we're going to welcome him. He's an amazing, amazing instrumentalist. I also want to tell you that you can go to our website, www.firescape.net, and you feel like giving to the coffee house, there's a donate button. Just push the button, and we will take care of it from there. So, for no further wait, I just want to welcome Mr. Stephen Watts. Stephen. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. How's everybody doing tonight? We hope you all are having a wonderful experience with this Fire Escape virtual concert, I think number one. So, man, you have no idea how good that feels, but you have no idea how good it feels just to play. That's what we do as musicians, we play. Now I'm going to be on the mic and do a little bit better job. Anyway, I, I want to say thank you, first and foremost, right up front to Mark and Marilyn Harms for allowing me to be a part of this, this community, this coffee house, this ministry, and their family. Uh, Mark and Marilyn are much more than friends. They're family. And brothers and sister in Christ Jesus. And I just want to thank them for the opportunity to do this tonight. I thank every, each and every one of you for tuning in tonight. And it is my sincere hope that everyone that is watching and listening will seek Almighty God through the truth of his living, risen Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I encourage you to seek the one and only real truth, and that is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ who lives and reigns 
with God Almighty and the Holy Spirit. I hope you enjoy this concert. This is a song I'm going to play for you right now. It's called Kansas Ballet Song. I would tell you about the title, especially since we're in Kansas, but then our time would be up. So I'm going to play the song.
very much. That's a tune called Kansas Ballet Song. I'd love to play that song. I want to thank also, right off the top, my wife, Sandra Watts. She is the love of my life and a source of immense love, encouragement, and uh, she is my strength, um, along with my Lord and Savior, Jesus. Thank you, Sandra, for supporting me with, with what I do out here on the road, and thank you for your friendship and love each and every day. Also, Eric Moyer is doing our uh, sound tonight here at Fire Escape um, Coffee House, and I wanted to make sure that our videographer, I pronounced his name right, Nick uh, uh, Buchanan, um, is uh, doing the videography tonight, and thanks to his wife as well, Tiffany, for uh, helping out this afternoon. We sure appreciated all that. I'm going to do a song right now. Slow it down a little bit and uh, do a song. This is a song that originally started out called Lighthouse in the Rockies. And it was a song that helped us get our career going back in the day. Well, over the years, the, the song has remained the same, but the titles have kind of changed from here to there. It was originally titled Lighthouse in the Rockies. And then just not that far long ago, it was called God's House in the Heartland. And now we just call this one God's House. I hope you enjoy it. It goes like this.
Thank you very much. I wish everybody a happy new year and a prosperous 2021. But more than that, I wish you peace and God's blessings. I want to share another scripture with you. I'm out here on the road for a number of reasons. One of the reasons is tonight getting to support this amazing youth ministry at Firehouse Cop at, at Fire Escape Coffee House. But it's important for me to share that I am a modern-day prodigal son and that I have been transformed by the healing power of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He changed my life. He took away alcoholism and asked me to spread the news. He said, Steve, there's a better way. Follow me. And that's what I'm doing. He says in the book of Revelation, praise the Lord for the testimony of Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy. This is a song. I didn't even know if I was going to play this one tonight. But this one works because of the things we're going through, the things we went through in 2020. Sometimes you just have to come up with a saying that will just get you through. And this one's called, That's Just the Way It Is.
Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I am found, was blind, but now I see.
So, I'd like to have you guys find the way to donate. We were doing a virtual concert, and you guys were so generous all the way. I know there's people listening from Colorado. I know there's people listening from Kansas, from the East Coast, the West Coast. And that's the beauty of uh, technology these days, and I love that part of it. But with that, it's, uh, you know, we've got some things that we have to get through as well. But one of the things that we don't have to worry about is Fire Escape Coffee House and their youth ministries right here. Their missionary work and their mission work goes on as strong each and every day. But they do need help. So that's one of the reasons I'm here. I'd like you to go to their website, firescape.net, firescape.net. That's two E's in there, okay? And scroll down, see the donate button, and we'd love to have you, if you, ha if you ha feel it in your heart, donate. Love to have your donations because we're trying to raise money so that they can keep this ministry strong. And for years to come, for years to come, you have no idea. And while you're on that website, make sure you read about the coffee house if you have never uh, experienced what they do here. But their ministry will go on and on. And the amount of people, the young lives that they have touched and changed here is beyond words. So I want you to take that minute and hit that donate button. We'd love to see some funds coming in. It's from the heart, we know, and we appreciate it very, very much. Got a song for you right now. This is a song called His Sanctuary, a song that came about in a little sanctuary not far from here in Maxville, Kansas. When my son, Pastor Jesse Watts, was playing guitar, came up with this little song, and I said, Jesse, why'd you come up with that? And he just shook his head as if to say, Dad, just get your horn out. Something's happening here. So I did. And the melody to this song was just there. I have no other way to explain it. If you ask my son, Pastor Jesse, if he wrote the song, he'll tell you, oh, no, he didn't. And if you ask me if I wrote the song, I'll say no. I wish I did, but I didn't either. But the cool thing is, we were both there in that little sanctuary when it came out of nowhere. Glory, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
Praise the Lord. That's a tune called, well, we originally called it Sanctuary. And then when we were doing the credits for the CD that we were going to put it on, we originally put it on a CD called, uh, Dot Zero CD called Telltale. And we were doing the credits. We realized we weren't giving credit where credit was due. So we changed the name of the song from Sanctuary to His Sanctuary so could we could give the Lord credit for letting us be a part of something as special as that. Hope you like the song. If you like it, we have it on CD. We have it so you can download it too. This is our CD. It's Dot Zero. You are listening to Steve Watts, but this is Dot Zero Praise Fellowship tonight. And sometimes it's Dot Zero. Sometimes it's Dot Zero Praise Fellowship. Sometimes it's both. All the above. It doesn't really matter. We are giving God the glory for all his blessings and love each and every day. I want to share something with you. It's important. Because being a modern-day prodigal son, I was raised in a Christian home. I lost my way, and thank goodness I was able to look back over my shoulder and see Jesus with open arms, and he was running towards me. It says in the Bible, and finding himself in the appearance of a man, he humbled himself to become obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above all names, that at the name of Jesus Christ, every knee shall bow in heaven, on earth, and beneath the earth. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God Almighty. This is what I believe. This is the truth that I hold on to. This is where happiness and peace live. I hope you will seek and find your Lord and Savior Jesus today. This is a song that describes it, lost and found. Thank you. 
There's a bunch of other people that I'd like to thank. So many people to thank for this trip, but not only this trip, but this week. I got to start it out at uh, First Baptist Church, and what a wonderful experience it's been to be considered part of their family as well. Thank you, Pastor DJ, and thank you, Lance Burnett, for letting me be a part of the praise and worship team and, and play music and praise the Lord at your Sunday services. It means so very much to me. Mr. Dave Rembold as well, KEFX Radio, right here at uh, Fire Escape Coffee House, 93.1 FM. He's not only uh, the uh, program director here, but he's kind of one of the family also and, and one of the community that helps uh, keep it all going. And he's the man that keeps that Christian music pumping out there for you. Once again, I want to let you know, those of you that are tuning in from Colorado, and I got, a, I got something for you, two things for you guys. We're going to be doing a concert coming up on Valentine's Day night. Well, you know what date that is. The 14th, at least last time I checked it was. 14th of February, Valentine's Day night. We're going to be doing a concert. That's Dot Cero, full band, in front of people. Live people, people that are alive. And we are going to follow all COVID restrictions, and we're going to have a very uh, limited seating available. So I want you to get your tickets for this very, very special Valentine's Day show with live music and live people. Go to dotzeroband.com. That's D-O-T-S-E-R-O band.com. Find out all about it. Also, I want you guys, while you're doing that, I want you to hit the donate button. I hope you've had a chance now to go to fireescape.net and scroll down, find the donate button, and uh, make your contribution. You know, we were playing at, at a place this last summer. Some of you will know what I'm talking about, Larimer Square in Denver. They closed the street off, and we were doing solos and, and duos, and that's all we could really get going. We had a couple of concerts here and there, but it was Really interesting to see people that would walk by and they're very into the live music, but you had to ask them sometimes to just put a little something in the tip basket if they had a little extra. And it was very cool to see their generosity. So I've been told that you got to mention it and mention it more than once. So I hope you will take this moment before I do one last song for you. I hope you'll take this moment and put a little something on that donate button for Fire Escape Coffee House Youth Ministries. My heart and soul thank Mark and Marilyn with everything I have. These people are so special to me. They've let me be here all week long, and I've had amazing experiences working with the children in the schools and also going to recovery meetings and helping people that are struggling with addictions. And they are because of what's going on. But we all together can hang our, our hats, our hopes, our fears, our doubts, our confusion on one truth. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that those who believe on his name will have eternal life. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for being the way, the truth, the real truth, the only truth. Let us follow you with our hearts and our souls. For all of you out there, I hope you've enjoyed this concert half as much as I've enjoyed playing for you tonight. This tour has been an amazing experience, a gift from the Lord above, and I'm so grateful. Rejoice always. 
Pray without ceasing, and in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Make sure you hit that donate button. Give generously. It really means a lot, and you'll be changing lives. I hope you enjoy this last one. Some of you will recognize it. It's about a story in the Bible. I think it's in Matthew 14, oh, somewhere around 22 through 33. They call it stepping out the boat.
Thank you, everyone, so very, very much for being a part of this first virtual concert back from 2020 for Fire Escape Coffee House. Make sure you hit that donate button. Give what you can. It's going to make the difference in somebody's life, I promise you. For here at the coffee house, Mark, Marilyn, Nick, and Eric, good night. God bless you all. Thank you, thank you so much for this on. Thank you for so much for listening tonight. Uh, leave comments on Facebook what you thought of this if we want to do this again. Yeah, make sure they're nice. Thank you, Stephen. Appreciate it.